What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just gonna break bad? Now that I got you guys' attention, <laughs> we, can, uh, we can go ahead and get at this video right quick. So, check it out, man. Um, as you guys know, you know, I, I, I frequent the Facebook groups religiously. You know, I, I, I'm... I'm heavenly engaged in the uh in the people that be in there and the people that 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 speaks their experience and the people that you know come in and ask questions and such so i came across this post right here about a young man uh we just gonna call him shane and he went to a ta in rogers minnesota uh, so we're going to get into uh, this post right quick. We're going to get into a couple of comments and then uh, I'm going to give my, you know, my thoughts on it. And then I'm going to leave it up to you guys in the comments below to continue the conversation. If you guys had any situations like this. All right. So. He says he was just putting this out there for, you know, people to know that when you come to the TA in Rogers, Minnesota, he paid for reserve parking, all right? So for those of you that's coming into the industry and don't know what reserve parking is, there's a handful of loves in a lot of TAs, Petros, Flying J's and pilots. Um, reserve parking is on the app. You download the app and let's say it's part of your trip plan, right? So when you trip plan and all like that, you get an idea of where you're gonna be at at the end of your clock. So let's say if you get to your delivery and there's a pilot right down the street, you're done with that. You know you're gonna get, uh, you know you're gonna get there late. And by that, and what by I mean late is that there might not be no free parking for you. Okay, so you put in an app, you reserve a spot, and you anticipate that spot being there for you when you get there. All right. All right, let's continue. So he says he arrived two hours later at 945. The manager informed him that TA no longer goes out to the parking lot and make drivers move. Now, what he means by that is if a driver is in the spot that's not paid for, they have to bounce. They got to get up out that spot, regardless of the fact because there's been situations that drivers will park in the reserve parking without paying knowing that they're on their 10 hour break meaning that they're not able to move their truck until the 10 hour is up well being that ta is kind of like private property if they come out there to tell you to move or get up off their property you probably might have to do it because if not they're going to escalate it and it's it's not going to be good for the driver i'm just saying in some cases some cases all right but in this situation this particular ta told him that they don't go out there to move drivers no more regardless of the fact that he already reserved the spot i.e pay for it already so he says i pay for the spot i need my spot he says she informed him that it's not her job to tell these truckers to move. I don't need you to tell me how fucking good my coffee is, okay? I'm the one who buys it. I know how good it is. Bonnie goes shopping, she buys shit. 
I buy the gourmet expensive stuff because when I drink it, I want to taste it. But you know what's on my mind right now? It ain't the coffee in my kitchen. Well, I kind of think it is. I mean, you are an agent of TA. You are the manager of the TA. So you do have a little bit of decorum by going out there and letting them drivers know, hey, if you didn't pay for a spot, you got to move, right? So he says not only did she tell him that she don't go outside to tell the drivers to move, but she refused to give him his money back. Now, those reserved parking, depending on the place, are are as low as $17, as high as $25. That's a lot of money. I mean, when you pay for something or you reserve something, you are entitled, that's that word, entitled, you are entitled to that spot or entitled to that reservation. When you make a reservation and you actually put money down on it, you put money down to hold your spot. That guarantees you that you're going to get your spot, that you're going to get your hotel room, that you're going to get that item at the at the quote unquote price that you asked for or that you reserve it for. But if you don't get none of that, you are entitled to your money back. So not only does she refuse to refund him his money, she also locked herself in the office and called the police because I refused to leave. Granted, I mean, you're not going to give me my money back and I can't park. Give me my money back so I can go somewhere to park and I will have my money if the park that I got to pay for. I, I I don't see the I don't see the situation. You refuse to go out there to tell the people to move, but yet you're not going to give me my money back. Make that make sense. Make that make some kind of sense, bro, because it don't make no sense to me right now. And plus you over here, I, I, I'm, I'm assuming that the young man is kind of irate right now. So that's why she went to lock herself into the, into the room and call the police, which could be understandable depending on how his verbiage was to her. So he says he spoke with a store manager. Now, I guess she's like the store manager, but the person that he was talking to was part of the management team, but not the store manager. This morning, and he told me that TA told all locations there are no longer allowed to make drivers move from paid parking, even if they know they didn't pay make that make sense i told him i was in a facebook group with around 100k people and i'm sure they will be happy to hear that we no longer have to pay the park but check this out though he said the manager said no 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 you still have to pay the park wait Again, I'm I'm confused. So if I still have to pay the park, right? Why am I paying the park if you're refusing to go out there to tell the people that didn't pay the park to move? They didn't pay. So being that they didn't pay, you making me pay for the spot that they're in. So in turn, I'm paying for them. I mean, God damn, Jimmy, there's some serious gourmet shit. 
Me and Vincent would have been satisfied with some freeze-dried tasty's choice, right? <laughs> Niece brings this serious gourmet shit on. What flavor is this? I can out you, Wayne. For them to park. Make that make sense. I mean, this whole little exchange with the TA out in Rogers, Minnesota, is crazy to me. It's crazy to me. He goes on to say, well, why the hell would I ever pay to park here again when you just told me that it won't do any good? He says corporate later refunded him. Like, later? What is later? Like, I wanted my money back now. Like, I gave you my money. You put it in the cash register. I got the receipt. So if no transaction that I like to my liking or anything like that, here's the receipt. Give me my money back. <laughs> he had to wait until corporate refund him his money. Now, drivers, listen, I know what you guys are thinking and I know what you guys is about to say. So I'm just going to say it for you. I know that you guys feel that truck parking is a hindrance or pay to pay the truck park at a truck stop is a hindrance. You guys got to look at it this way. It's private property. All right. Before I go on, let me just say that this commenter in the in the post, he says, I think all truck stops should give free parking for all truck drivers because if it wasn't for us, they wouldn't have a job. Hmm. I, I, I would think they would still probably have a job. It probably might not be with that particular TA in Rogers, Minnesota. But look, I, I, I feel you. I feel you. I, I, I feel that we should have adequate truck parking as well. We should have free truck parking as well. But think of it this way. The truck parking and truck stops are free. Are free. It depends on what time you make it there to get one of those free spots. Unfortunately, if you make it there when all the free spots are gone and the only available spots that are left is the ones that you got to pay for, then there's there shouldn't be an argument. I mean, if there's paid parking available, I feel, in my opinion, that if you are a company driver, then your company should reimburse you for paid parking. Whether paid parking on your 34 hour or paid parking on your 10 hour, it doesn't matter. If you're a company driver and whether you work for these big mega carriers, if you're a company driver, you're driving their trucks, you should get reimbursed for paid parking. Period. Now, of course, if you're an owner operator, lease operator, or uh, a, a, a driver that's renting the truck, then yeah, all that paid parking should come out of your part, your pocket. But if you're a company driver with these mega carriers or any smaller carriers or anything like that, they should reimburse you because they should already know that parking is already an issue with us truck drivers and being that we're on the eld strict mandated time clock you should your company should pay for parking period that's just my whole outlook all right but in this situation right here with the TA out in Rogers, Minnesota, that whole scenario is not only wrong, but it don't make sense 
And again, I'm confused about the whole thing of number one, not getting your refund. Number two, not going out there to tell a driver that hasn't paid for a spot to move. And number three, you had to wait until corporate sends you your money back. I'm not sure if I would like to partake in parking, whether it's free and or paid at TA in Rogers, Minnesota. Christian says truck drivers should never have to pay to park at any truck stops nationwide. It's unacceptable and ridiculous. I, hey, you, you, you're entitled to your opinion. And I'm sure that the truck stops would say the same thing. But you got to understand that we're in an economy. You know, they're in the business of making money. And the fuel it's not always profitable for them. So they have to go outside, look around to see where they can get disposable money from. Now, the, it could be another of criterias that they put in motion for them to come up with the decision to charge for parking, i.e. dirty ass drivers right there's a lot of us out here we dump our piss out on the floor our shit bags up under the trucks our we sweep out our trailers leave garbage all over the all over the parking lot and who has to come out there damn good coffee and hot to clean that shit the employee How are they going to get paid, you say? Well, we got, to, we got to put the cost of paying these employees to keep the parking lot clean. We have to pass it on to the truck drivers. See, I, 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 I got a third eye. I, I, heard this, I heard somebody coin this in Checkmate's uh, live feed. You you got you gotta look you gotta look at everything with your street eye. If that makes sense. And that's how I look at all of this paid parking situation. It's the reason why Walmarts don't allow us in their parking lots no more, right? Because of messy drivers. Henry says, no pay parking at the pump, my man. Just park there like everybody else. So just about everybody in this in this comment session are, are basically saying that they disagree with the quote unquote pay parking. But, you know, like I said, that's that's just my opinion. Those that's my thoughts on it. I I feel that now in that particular situation that driver was done wrong he was done disrespected and i can understand the case when you guys come and say that us truck drivers are being disrespected at all costs we're not looked upon as essential people anymore we, we're looked upon as a hindrance Drivers, that's my thoughts. Tell me yours in the comments below. Big G's got it locked. Boy. Want you to love me all night? Yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real wet? Yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G and yeah, don't make a sound. And I want you to miss me when I'm not around. Come dive in my ocean. Zip on my push. My love is like lotion. It's all over you. You all over me. Cause you my little boo. How many times I gotta tell you no fuck?